What is good? What is grand? What is going on? This is good stuff with Steph coming to you, coming at you. What is the other preposition I can use for this? I'm not going to say that again. That sounds, this sounds weird in my head, and it's going to sound weird if I say it out loud. <clears throat> Hello. There's a lot of dust on my camera. I am a little bit... Okay, please don't be triggered, but I'm just... Mm, okay, all righty. There we go. We cleaned it. This is so weird because um, uh, it's almost 2022. I'm making a video in 2021. Oh my gosh, how are you guys? I have some new subscribers on the channel. So hey, how you doing? I am Stephanie. You can watch all my podcast videos if you would like, if you want to. That's up to you. This is not a new setup. I'm just sitting here at my desk. My hair is really curled today, but it kind of looks greasy. But it's just... It was like damp and then it turned kind of crispy. That sounds really weird. But I did some weird like bun thing where I just twisted it and like made it into a bun. And it looked like this. So I'm just going to stick with this. And uh, it's a really nice day today. It rained a ton. And it's currently, I don't know how many like degrees it is. It's pretty chilly. Only like 50 degrees. Oh, 49 to be exact. So uh, it's pretty good. But today is Monday. I hope I upload this soon. Or maybe today. But anyway, I haven't done a podcast in so long. It's usually like, I have so many topics I want to cover. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't know if that's, like, that's going to be a lot. So, but currently I am well. I had sushi today for lunch. And that's very exciting to me. I mean, yeah, sushi's great. So, take a sip of warm water. Cody Co got engaged. How exciting is that? Oh my gosh. What a real adult now, you know? Him and Kelsey are great. Super cute, super cute. Um, yeah, I'm 19 now. I mean, I've been 19 for a few months now, but I'm almost 20 basically. So, wow, that's really weird. But January is so close yet so far. It's like, I don't know what to expect because usually like on New Year's Day when, they, when the clock hits 12, it's like, yep, Okay, it's just another day now, you know, and staying past midnight to do that's kind of cool. You're like, oh my gosh, it's January, and it's like, oh my gosh, it's January. You know, that's kind of like the mindset. But for me, I'm like, heck yeah, let's go. Let's start the new year right. Um, I think entering into the new year with a great mindset is always good. Entering every month, entering every day, every week, you know, with a new mindset, with a good mindset is always good. Just because it's like it's good for your own mental health. And I think it's, you know, not like it's not like po toxic positivity, but it's more like for me, it's like I would not think of it as pos positive toxic, t toxic positivity. I would think of it more as like just a new opportunity every day to take on the day. I'm not saying that as like a cliche, like kind of cringy, kind of like, yeah, you know, everything's good. Everything's great. But more so like, you know, in my reality, everything is good. Um, everything is getting done, you know, not so much always super great, not super grand, just that, you know, things are getting done, you know, we're, we're getting things done way before a deadline. I got a burp. <coughs> Excuse me. Woo. <laughs> and just that, you know, everything. oh, I, I was eating cookies. I had these tiny Tate's cookies. Let's see that in the camera there. And these are really good because like the original, like the big cookies from Tate's are also really good. But the tiny ones, I was like, they have tiny cookies and these are really good. So I just had a bunch of those and we don't have milk. We have goat milk. I'm sure goat milk is really healthy. So my dad's like, you should drink some goat milk. And I'm like, all right, maybe I'll drink some goat milk. We ran out of oat milk or regular cow milk. So we have eggnog, but we never buy eggnog. My mom's friend bought it for us. It's all right, but I don't really like it too much. It's very like, it tastes like soda. Like it tastes like soda and milk. It kind of tastes like when you do a root beer float type of thing. So ah, another swig of warm water. Very good. It's so weird to think that I'm turning 21 soon. I don't even know if I'll be consuming alcohol then. Yeah. So um, quick story. It's like we were at a Japanese restaurant and it's like, oh, the chef special or something like that. And they give out free sake. Sake? Sake? Sasuke? <laughs> um, they give out this free little chunk of alcohol. Not chunk. It's not chunky. It's liquid, I guess. It's, it, yeah, it's, it's a liquid. Um, so, okay. Anyway, 
the sh- you know the waiter came over and just put one up for everyone and i was like oh is this alcohol and she's like oh yes and i was like oh i'm not of age yet <laughs> most people would have been like all right let me just you know but this is me and i'm like oh yeah i'm not of age yet i don't know i just i just like i think about i think about it i'm like mm, yeah maybe i'll take a sip and i'm like you know what no it just doesn't feel right to me and it's like it's not weird it's just personal it's just not personally it's just like you know personal preference so same with like like other things like sex or whatever like i think about it but i'm like meh you know Mm, you know not really for me i get excited when somebody talks about rubik's cubes or books (laughs) but that's just me i guess but you know yeah (laughs) okay i don't know if i'm gonna keep that in this podcast because uh anyone can listen to this but like i'm i'm like i'm 19 I am an adult now, so it feels weird to call myself an adult. It's like, am I really an adult or am I just like a, like my mindset is more adult, but I, I my personality is still like child, but also like there are a lot of middle schoolers that I talk to or not a lot. Wait, that sounds really creepy. That I swear. <laughs> I mean, I have in my neighborhood, there are elementary school kids and middle school kids. Like I talk to them. No one else, please. I swear. This makes me look so bad. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> you know, and like they're they're really mature for their age. It's like they talk about like you know literature, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like ugh, that's so great. You know, I'm really happy when people talk about like books and like you know reading and like different you know art styles or music and stuff like that. I'm like, I just like you know, it just instead of like, I mean, I guess I'm just not into the video game culture or like so much. I don't know. um gaming industry oh i guess video gaming gaming is pretty much come on they're like the same um genre stuff like that but i'm more so interested in the arts and you know the books i feel like i'm i know a little bit about a lot of things which is like it's kind of like total package type of thing because you know a or one i don't know how i'm going to list these out i'm joking currently not kidding but you know i am bilingual or trilingual i guess you could say you know i'm an athlete choking again you know i'm a student i'm a daughter you know i'm a neighbor that's just listing out like my characteristics i guess you know i'm funny i'm quirky i'm cute (laughs) you know all this you know it's like whatever i guess sometimes i do have to praise myself a little bit just because it's like we kind of put our, we kind of put ourselves down a little bit just to kind of fit in, quote unquote, I guess you could say that, but also just because it's like, you know, if you, if you're, you brag about yourself, then it makes you look bad, but if you constantly put yourself down, then people have to, you know, be like, oh, you know, they're constantly, like, people have to, people have to, you know, tell me that you're not bad, or people have to tell you that you're not this, you're not that, so it's kind of like, where's the balance, you know, like, what like how much should you praise yourself you know and how much should you like kind of be within societal means within societal standards right but i mean i guess i haven't i haven't been doing a lot of soul searching more like reprogramming my mind to be like yeah this is this is the light that we live on i don't know what i'm saying i'm kind of out of breath a little bit because i'm talking so fast <laughs> but oh my gosh i'm making a lot of like bodily noises jeez <laughs> And we're done on that. Time to refill. Wait, let's do a quick ASMR segment here. Ah, That's good. Good hot water. (laughs) I've been drinking a lot of... Oh my gosh. I've been drinking a lot of water, which is really good. I finally figured out, like, my skin. You know, I need to eat better. I was eating a lot of carbs. I, I've said this, I've mentioned this many times in my videos, in my, uh, on my other channel, my main channel, you know, if this is, I, if I'm probably going to post it on YouTube and stuff like that, on uh, my main channel, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, there was a two week period where I was just eating whatever I could find, and I was like, I was taking in carbs, protein, fats, saturated fats, salt, sugars, all of it, but I was mostly consuming carbs, because it was like, oh, you know, there's a lot of calories and all, all the stuff that I was eating, and it like, it all showed up on my face, you know, my face for the past few days have been really good, my face has been 
simmering down on you know acne and just blemishes and i think you know it's a lot better and i'm really excited just like it's like you know figuring out what you consume affects your whole body and another fun fact is that you have to take care of your teeth your teeth if your teeth are bad if your teeth are rotting then it's going to affect the rest of your body you know things are going to start shutting down so you have to brush your teeth like you know you have to clean because you know these roots affect your face and then it's just like it starts spreading everywhere and it's more like internal stuff so i mean i guess you could fact check this like does your do your does how do you how do you fact check it does your teeth affect the do your teeth or does your teeth teeth is plural tooth is singular there you go a little grammar lesson for you do your teeth affect the rest of your body I don't know. It just sounds weird. You're like, does your teeth? Oh, it's 420. Nice. D- yeah. Teeth affect body? Question mark. There you go. That's how you would word that. Um. So, you know, definitely just constantly, not constantly, but like you know, every week, take try to take care of your body in in any way, shape, or form. So you know, mentally, physically, spiritually, um, out of bodily. No, that sounds weird. But just trying, you know, to do anything you can to maintain a healthy body because you know what you consume what you consume both in foods and in media and in content whatever whatever it's all affecting you in some way whether you think it does it is or whether you think it does or doesn't it is going to affect you in some way unless you kind of forget about it but like you know sometimes you'll see one thing once and it'll appear in your dreams or something like that but that's for a different time I guess I'm really out of breath and I'm just sitting here. I guess talking really does take your breath away. So, cheers to that. I think moving from topic to topic so quickly, I think in the dating scheme of things, if I if I want to talk about that, um, I feel like sometimes like we think here from a girl's perspective, I'm a girl. Or that's how I identify as a girl. So and I am a girl, guys. Come on now. <laughs> <clears throat> Why did I have to clarify that? Anyway, like, I sometimes think that I'm too weird for another guy, but when I, like, you know, examine, not examine, but, like, when I see the full picture of that guy more, I'm like, you know what, you're the you're the weird one because you're so boring. <laughs> you know, and I wouldn't consider myself boring. I think I would consider myself pretty normal because weird is normal. There you go. And boring is weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, nowadays, it's like people don't ever want to talk about why things are... Th- I guess everyone's different. Everyone has a different interests. But I'm very interested in how, you know, wh- why we think certain things and why we do certain things. And, you know, what kind of accent a dog has if he had an accent, you know? <laughs> and, like, who decided to make french fries or, you know, why are they called donuts, or just just random things like that, mainly food related, because I'm always I'm always you know loving a good snack, uh, and I am one. So, ha, but I mean, no, wait, <laughs> it's just pretty awkward here. But I think it's important to like have these weird conversations. Weird conversations are way better than normal ones. Okay, normal ones meaning like you know I do ask how is the weather, you know, like so it's been raining a bunch, huh? You know, it's like yeah, the weather is beautiful outside. It's like oh my gosh, I finally went outside, and the clouds had like so many interesting shapes, and I was like I just I just immersed myself in all the sun that I could get, and that makes for an interesting person. And it's like yeah, every day's the same, you know, it's whatever. The clouds look the same. Yeah, yeah, it's cold. I mean, sure, you know, but like. Do you see like the the different between the difference between those two like conversations within the same topic? You know, I don't know. I guess I'm just bored of boring people. If that makes sense. It's like people who complain about things. I'm not saying you know, everyone has their struggles. Mr. Struggles. Um wow, Mr. Struggles is getting no, I guess Cody Co. was Mr. Struggles, you know. Well <laughs> anyway. Oh my gosh. That's so exciting though. If Kelsey changes her last name, she does not have to. It'll be like, it'll be KK. <laughs> Remember when we used to like say KK? Like, KK. But, um, I knew I was going to get a text. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm just so cool. But, <clears throat> cheers. <sighs> I swear this is water. Um, yeah. It's water. I promise. 
Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, he's getting married. It's so exciting. Very exciting. Good for him. You know, that's cool. Um, I don't know. Maybe like Danny Gonzalez, Curtis Connor, Drew Gooden, Noel Miller. They're all going to be like his groomsmen. Is that what it is? Bridesmen? I, I forget what they're called. I know they have bridesmaids. I don't know about the other ones though. But that's exciting. Back to what I was saying. I'm bored of boring people. Because I'm not boring at all. I'm very quite interesting. You know, I know I'm not like bragging, but I'm just saying it's like I know a, a little about a lot of things. I w- I'm always, I'm constantly excited to learn. You know, I'm really, I, I just, I, you know, I dabbled in computer science. Hello, come on. <laughs> business, I'm not so much um, in the business side of things, but you know, I do have friends who are in business and it's like having conversations with them definitely would be interesting you know, going into sciences and stuff like that, it's just, like, it's not, like, be interesting, but, like, what makes you likable is if you're interested in things, how you become, how you are, no, what am I saying, how to become a likable person is, like, be (coughs) interested, I'm over here choking on things here, be interested in things, and then you will be considered interesting, you know, like, don't just be, don't just kind of chill in your, I mean, if you have nowhere to go, you have the online. The World Wide Web is your resource. If you if you think, you know, people don't like you or whatever, whatever, you know, then that's like a self-esteem thing. First, work on that. You know, I'm constantly working on that. You know, I'm like, you know what? I'm good. People like me. People seem to enjoy me. That sounds weird. People like my personality. People are constantly telling me that I'm weird and quirky in a good way. <laughs> Stuff like that you know, and that's just, it's just, chillax, chillax, I swear, I'm, I'm not popular or anything, but, see, I just know a lot of people, right, I don't consider myself popular, but I just know a lot of people, and they know me, which I think is pretty cool, but I keep my circle really small, just because it's like, I'm not comfortable being around too many people at the same time, because I, I grew up pretty, not isolated, I grew up pretty alone, you know, I'm more individual, so, like, if you put me in, like, a two-person in- situation, I would be super awkward in that, but, like, if you put me, like, by myself, sure, it would be a little lonely, but, like, I would get things done, and, like, I have enough personality for, like, three, four people, so, <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know where I started with this, but <clears throat> I hope your winter break's going well, I hope you're starting, if you if you know where your classes are, I already know, I know, I already have a class that I can start, um, getting things done and i'm already i'm i've already gotten a few things done i think it's really good getting the head start i love getting a head start on assignments it's like that might be weird of me to say but that's how i keep my grades up that's how i keep my myself in in check you know i have deadlines i give myself tasks and it's like i follow through and it's really good i'm proud of myself so you know i hope you guys are well if you guys are having a good time taking it easy on yourself mentally checking in with yourself physically checking with yourself whatever whatever drinking your drinking your water and just uh you know (sighs) taking a deep breath and just continuing on your day you know being that boss that you are (laughs) so thank you for listening again this has been good stuff with steph i'm your host hostess i am your your speaker this is a TED Talk. Just kidding. No. This uh, this has been fun. I hope I do more podcast episodes like this. Hopefully soon. Maybe when I move to my dorm or maybe my cousin's house. <laughs> and then I'll post more there. It's so exciting. But for now, I'll just be chilling here. Just taking it easy. Shaking it easy. That sounds weird. Everything that I say sounds weird. But uh, toodles. Or or not. Toodles? Who, who, who invented toodles? Like... You know, what? What are these, like, greetings? Is toodles a greetings? Or it's not a greetings, but it's the opposite of a greeting. It's the, uh, not a greet. Meet and greet. You know, what's the opposite of a greet? A greeting? I don't know. Um, but definitely read more books. Take care of yourself. Take gay of yourself? What? Take care of yourself. I mean, hey, it's up to you, you know? Um. (laughs) okay and i'll see you guys in my next episode of good stuff with steph bye